Hello dear students, in this video I will continue with the 7th unit financial mathematics. In this video we will learn about compound annual growth rate. We will also see the questions from exercise 7.5 of CBSE handbook. And now before seeing the questions from exercise 7.5 and learning the formula for compound annual growth rate, we will see what it actually is. Compound annual growth rate it depicts the cumulative performance of a particular variable over a period of time using compounding effect. So, the compound annual growth rate, it shows the growth rate of a particular variable using compounding effect over a period of time. It is often used to evaluate the performance of different investments by an individual or enterprise which is calculated using the annual rate of return. And now we will see how we can get the formula for compound annual growth rate. Now, these are the terms which are used in the formula for compound annual growth rate. EV is the investment's ending value. SV is the investment's starting value. Then N is the number of periods. And R is the compound annual growth rate. The number of investment periods, it can be either in months or in years. Now, we are familiar with the formula A equal to the amount A equal to principal P into 1 plus R, the effective rate of interest R, the whole raise to N, where N is the number of investment period. So, if a person invests an amount, say P, principal P, then we have this principal P, it grows to an amount A in N years, if the, if the rate of interest is R. So, we have the formula A is equal to P into 1 plus R, the whole raise to N. This A is nothing but it is the investments ending value and P is nothing but it is the investments starting value. So, from this formula itself, we can calculate this R. R is nothing but it is the compound annual growth rate. So, A is the investments ending value. So, it is EV. This EV equal to the investments starting value SV into 1 plus the compound annual growth rate R the whole raise to N. So, from this we get EV upon SV equal to 1 plus R the whole raise to N. Now, if we raise both sides to the power 1 by N, we get EV upon SV the whole raise to 1 by N equal to 1 plus R the whole raise to N the whole raise to 1 by N. So, this N and this N will get cancelled using loss of exponents. So, from this we get 1 plus R equal to EV upon SV the whole raise to 1 by N or we get R as ending value upon, upon starting value the whole raise to 1 by N minus 1. Now, this will be as a fraction. So, we usually have this compound annual growth rate in terms of percentage. So, we can have into 100 percent. So, this is the formula for compound annual growth rate. Here we have the formula. Compound annual growth rate is given by ending value upon starting value the whole raise to 1 by n minus 1 into 100. Where EV is the investment's ending value, SV is the investment starting value and N is the number of investment periods. So, this is the formula for compound annual growth rate. In this year's sample paper, a question on compound annual growth rate was given in MCQ for 1 mark. We will proceed with the questions from exercise 7.5. The first question, an investment has a starting value of rupees 5000 and it grows to 25000 in 4 years. What will be its compound annual growth rate? So, here the starting value is given, ending value is given, time period is given. We can find the compound annual growth rate using the formula, substituting all the values in the formula. And usually, the values for, for such exponential expressions will also be given in the question itself. So, here we have the starting value is given as rupees 5000. 
the ending value is given as rupees 25000 and the number of time periods it is 4 years n is 4 so we have compound annual growth rate as ending value upon starting value the whole raised to 1 by n minus 1 into 100 so ending value is 25000 starting value is 5000 the whole raised to 1 by n is 4 minus 1 into 100 so this is 5 raised to 1 by 4 minus 1 into 100 the value for pi raised to 1 by 4 is 1.4953. So, it is 1.4953 minus 1 into 100 which is 0 0.4953 into 100. Therefore, compound annual growth rate it is 49 Point five three percent. So this is the compound annual growth rate. It is forty nine point five three percent. Next question: An investment has a starting value of rupees two thousand and it grows to eighteen thousand in three years. What will be its compound annual growth rate? So here again, the starting value is given, the ending value is given, and n is also given we can find compound annual growth rate so here starting value is rupees 2000 then ending value is rupees 18000 n is 3 using all these we can find compound annual growth rate it is ending value upon starting value the whole raise to 1 by n minus 1 into 100 which is 18,000 upon 2,000 the whole raised to 1 by 3 minus 1 into 100. So, this is this is 9 raised to 1 by 3 minus 1 9 raised to 1 by 3 is 2.08. So, it is 2.08 minus 1 into 100 which is 1.08 into 100. Therefore, compound annual growth rate equal to 108 percent. So, this is the compound annual growth rate. When the starting value is rupees 2000 and the ending value is rupees 18,000, if it grows to 18,000 in 3 years, the compound annual growth rate is, is nothing but it is 108 percent. Moving on to the next question. Calculate compound annual growth rate from the following data. So, here we have year and revenue. So, for year 2015, the revenue is 3 lakhs. 2016, it is 3 lakh 50 thousand. 2017, 4 lakhs. And 2018, it is 4 lakh 50 thousand. Usually, the revenue, it is calculated at the end of each year. So, at the end of 2015, it is 3 lakhs and at the end of 2016, it is 3,50,000 and so on. At the end of 2018, it is 4,50,000. So, the meaning is that at the beginning of 2016, it is 3 lakhs. So, we have the starting value as 3 lakhs, the ending value as 4,50,000 and n, the number of time periods will be 1, 2, 3, 3 years. So, here starting value is rupees 3 lakhs, ending value is rupees 4 lakh 50 thousand and n is 3 years. So, in the beginning of 2016, it is 3 lakhs and it has grown to 4 lakh 50 thousand in these 3 years. So, n is 3 years. So, using this we can find compound annual growth rate. Compound annual growth rate is given by 
ending value upon starting value the whole raise to 1 by n minus 1 into 100. Ending value is 4 lakh 50 thousand. Starting value is 3 lakhs. The whole raise to 1 by n is 3 minus 1 into 100. So 45 by 30 it is 1.5. 1.5 raised to 1 by 3 minus 1 into 100. The value for 1.5 the whole raised to 1 by 3 it is 1.14447. It is 1.1447 minus 1 into 100 which is 0 0.1447 into 100. Therefore, Compound annual growth rate equal to 14.47%. So, this is the compound annual growth rate. Next question. Mr. Kumar has invested rupees 20,000 in year 2014 for 5 years. If compound annual growth rate for that investment, it turned out to be 11.84%. What will be the end balance? So, here the initial amount that was invested is given it is 20,000 and it was invested for 5 years. The compound annual growth rate is 11.84 percent. We need to find the end balance. So, here the starting value is given it is 20,000. Compound annual growth rate. R is given. R is 11.84 percent or it is 0.1184. N is 5 years. So, you we can use this formula ending value equal to starting value into 1 plus R the whole raise to N. Ending value is nothing but it is the amount starting value is the principal. So, A equal to P into 1 plus R the whole raise to N. Only thing is we have changed A to ending value and the principal P to starting value. So, we can use this formula to find the end balance EV. So, starting value is 20,000 into 1 plus R is 0.1184. The whole raise to N is 5. So, it is 20,000 into 1.1184. The whole raise to 5. The value for 1.1184 the whole raise to 5 is 1.75. So, this is 20,000 into 1.75. Now, this when we multiply, we get it as 35,000. Therefore, end balance equal to rupees. 35,000. So, this is the end balance of rupees 20,000 when the compound annual growth rate is 11.84 percent after 5 years. Last question Mr. Naresh has bought 200 shares of City Look Company at rupees 100 each in 2015. After selling them, he has received rupees 30,000 which accounts for 22.47 percent compound annual growth rate. Calculate the number of years for which he was holding the shares. So, here the initial money that was invested is given, he has invested in these 200 shares at rupees 100 each and that too in 2015. After selling them, the amount received is rupees 30,000. Compound annual growth rate is also given. It is 22.47. We need to find the number of years for which he was holding the shares. So, here we have the starting value. It can be calculated. This is the ending value and this is the compound annual growth rate. We need to find n, the number of years. So, here starting value is 200 into 100. It is rupees 20,000. 
and then the ending value is rupees 30,000. Then the compound annual growth rate, it is also given, it is 22.47 percent or it is 0.2247 or let us keep it as 22.47 percent itself because we have compound annual growth rate as into 100. We need to find N. So, using the formula compound annual growth rate is equal to ending value upon starting value the whole raise to 1 by N minus 1 into 100. So, we get 22.47 equal to ending value is 30,000, starting value is 20,000, whole raise to 1 by N minus 1 into 100. We are writing this 100 because this term is in, it is a decimal number. So, we are writing it into 100 to find the percentage. Here it is already given in percentage. So, we should not write this as 0.2247. It is 22.47 only. So, this is 22.47. This is equal to 30,000 upon 20,000 the whole raise to 1 by n minus 1 into 100. Now, let us divide, bring this 100 and divide this by 100. So, this implies 0.2247 equal to this we can simplify. 1.5 the whole raise to 1 by n minus 1 or 1.2247 equal to 1.5 the whole raise to 1 by n. We can take log on both sides. If we take log, we get log 1.2247 equal to 1 by n log 1.5. This is using the log of loss of logarithm. Log a raised to m equal to m log a. Using this law of logarithm, we can write log of 1.5 the whole raised to n as 1 by n log 1.5. So, from this we get n as log 1.5 upon log 1.2247. So, log 1.5 is 0.176 and log 1.2247 is 0 0.088. Those values we can substitute here. 0 0.176 upon 0 0.088. This is equal to 2. 88 2s are 176. So, this is equal to 2. Therefore, n equal to 2 years. Similar question was given in last year's sample paper for 3 marks. So, writing the formula carries 1 mark. We have to write what is EV. EV is ending value. SV is starting value. CAGR is compound annual growth rate. Writing the formula carries 1 mark, substituting the values and up to this step it carries 1 mark, then the remaining steps and the final answer carries 1 mark. I hope this video was useful for you. In my next video, I will complete with financial mathematics. The last topic is depreciation. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.